Right, Boris. So I've got myself a, a video editing thing on my uh, phone now. So uh, I've had a little go at um, editing up that uh, last Eastbourne trip I just did uh, on the weekend. So uh, if you can be bothered to watch it again, uh, yeah, let us know what you think. I'll uh, hopefully keep going on like this so you might have some edited videos, Pirates. It's the Pirates Live. Ah. Oh. Right, Pirates, uh, Saturday the 25th of August, 2018. Uh, and I've come to Rye to have a nice chilled out weekend after uh, getting back to uh, try and finish this massive job I'm on. And uh, woken up this morning by Steve. Um, and now I'm going sailing on GNA to uh, Sovereign Harbour. Didn't see that one coming. Ahoy, Captain. How you doing? Weather's nice, isn't it? Jim, we'll have a bit of breeze out there today. We will. <laughs> We've already taken the topsail off of the boat, so <laughs> we're not going to bother with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice chilled out sail. Uh, we've got a new face with us today, Chuck. So Craig's at work today, he's not coming. I think it'll be the first time I've ever been sailing without Craig. Um, he might drive down and meet us at the Sovereign tonight. That would be nice. Uh, awesome, so unexpected trip. There's Indelo, hello gorgeous. The old Jolly Roger of flying. Uh, those flags are a little bit beaten up after. We've only got half flags after our trip to uh, the Isle of Wight. They are battered, it's just a bit like what we were when we got back. But hope, hopefully today will be uh, a little less exciting. <laughs> Well, pirates, we're sailing uh -huh. on the gaff cutter rig, Nick. Took us a little while to get the sails out, didn't it? A little bit. I've done it for a while, so you know we're sailing now. Yeah, two of us didn't know the boat. This is Chuck, by the way, pirates. Hello, hello, hello. We've not met Chuck before. Hello, 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 hello. Not, oh, nice yeah, to meet you, Chuck. You. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, where do you live then? Uh, near Southampton, Netley Abbey. Oh yeah. Netley Abbey, nice little place. And uh, uh, yeah. been sailing all your life, then, have you? Or? Uh, yeah, I was capsized on Chichester Bar about three months before I was born. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, from a Hornet. Oh, right. Yeah. But, you, but you're here. That's good. Yeah, we made it. So, yeah. have you uh, been on one of these gaff cutters before? Uh, once or twice, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Went over to, uh, to France with young Nick over here. Oh, wicked. And uh, we got the use of one out of Brightening Sea whenever we want it. Cool. But, uh, which is all right. We get a few crew together. Yeah, have a bit of fun with that. Yeah, I want to get a load of us to go and anchor at Whitecliff Bay and go and uh, see yeah. Jeff at the Wonky Cafe. Oh, right, Next okay. year. It's a date. Next year. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. Go but... around the corner of the Brighton Sea, once you go. Know, It'll be a nice place to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah will it? Really? But uh, there we are. The sails. Got a gap at the top. Yeah, definitely. And the two sails up front, which is what makes it the cutter. Yeah, look at the angular hill we got, pirates. It's awesome just being at sea. Just chilling. Just talking about all our sailing stories and boats. No, I came out two days. Right down in the distance, I don't know if you can see that anymore. It's where we came from. You can see all the Dungeness power lines. That's basically yeah, that's line where we are. Well, it's a shame Captain Craig's not with us today. I think it's the first time I've ever been sailing without Craigers. Thanks for letting us come on your boat, Steve. Uh, it's such a great weekend. But I seemed like a bit of a palaver getting the sails out, but it's, these, it seems with sailing that everyone's got their way of doing things, and we've not had Chuck on here before. It's normally Ian. Um, so we're all just learning the ropes, effectively, really. Steve was at the helm. Ian knows his onions pretty well, doesn't he? He's a good boy, I like Ian. Shame you're not with us, Ian, by the way, mate. Oh, I miss you, buddy. I like seeing your face when you've had a couple. <laughs> we 
Wind in your sails. Look at that pirates. Bloody awesome. He's building up, that's good. Sailing's good, sailing's good. We're all just having a a drink and a biscuit. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Um, and it's funny, we were just talking about biscuits because uh, when me and Craig, I think it was when we got Ella Rossa, um, the old boy Ted who sold it to him, he'd been in the Navy for like 40 years and he'd had fucking Ella Rossa forever and you know, proper old character, everyone knew who he was and all the rest of it. He was the one that said eat digestives because it absorbs all the acidy stuff you get. I like rich teas, that's what me and Craig go for. Chuck reckons ginger nuts. But but again, like the sales, you see, it's everyone's got their way of doing it, haven't they? But the basic principles still remain the same, don't they? But there you go, a little tip for you for seasickness. Biscuits. Jump in some nice waves. Up and down at the bow. Good one, that one. One thing I have noticed, there's not a pirate's flag on this boat. No. We're going to have to remedy that. Well, well Steve, actually, he has got a, a business. What's your business called, Steve? Pilot Models. Pilot Models, and they do all this CGI, 3D models, and stuff for films, and all sorts of gear and that and uh, I'm saying we're gonna have to get some uh, to one of our logo the old uh, what is it it's the Guy Fawkes anonymous pirate flag um, and I want to get some t-shirts made up so all, all you regulars like Pirate Pete or whatever I'll give you a t-shirt I want to do that that'd be so cool Chuck you're gonna have to look at our, some of our videos now <laughs> Because you're going to see your boat race on there, mate. Is that right? Yeah. Steve will, Steve will keep you in the loop. He knows. Steve's a pirate. <laughs> oh, I'll see you what. It's just amazing being out at sea. No engine going. Got a nice wind today. Really nice wind. Oh, Pirate Pete, we'll probably see you tomorrow. If you're on your cat. We'll be back by lunchtime. There's some uh, sails about. That one's bare pulled for some reason, though. Their main comes out on a roller boom by the looks of it in the mast. But all the boats you can see have got a real nice angular hill on them. That is for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> farmers, we call them. Not Emmas. No, farmers. Farmer yeah. Giles. Emma Freud's. Farmers. Is that is that a common thing with sailors, farmers, or is it? Well, they're conditionally yeah. rhyming stuff. No, not the use of the rhyme. <laughs> oh, I love you, Nick. <laughs> oh, I like Nick. He's a good old boy. So we're gonna probably uh, stop in Eastbourne and have something to eat and do all that. I'm going to sleep on deck again tonight just because I'm a fucking pirate and I love it. I've got me uh, bivvy bag on me sleeping bag so uh, it doesn't even matter if it rains. Won't stop me mate. Nothing stops me. You know why? Because I'm a pirate. Some nice waves about pirates. Please reply, mi amigo.
I am looking for that filthy mouse. <laughs> so Nick, tell me. Right, so first of all, Nick, it's Nick. How do you do? Nick, you what's do? your surname, Nick? Beetham. 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 Yeah. Right, so Nick Beetham. Yeah. What got you into sailing then? Because you, right, you have got an exact miniature replica of this beastie that we're on now. So, uh, yours is a Nippikin. My boat is a Memory 19. It's a, this is a um, uh, Oyster Smack. Two. Yeah, mine's 19 feet on deck, um, gaffering sloop, I've had her for 18 months or so, something like that, done quite a bit of work on her. But to answer your question, um, I've sailed a bit in a dinghy when I was a kid, you know, not a lot, but a bit, and um, used to sail whenever I got the chance, had a boat here so you used to blah 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 blah. And I met Chuck, who's on the helm at the moment. Yeah, skipper in today. Um, when uh, he and I were both on a boat called uh, Amelie Rose, which is a uh, silly ass pilot captain replica built by Luke Howe down in Greek in Cornwall. And we sailed with a bunch of other people on this boat. Um, euphemistically known as guest crew, I always thought of us as punters really, which is what we were. <laughs> and uh, we sailed from Falmouth across to Brittany, stayed there for a couple of weeks for a couple of uh, traditional sail festivals at Brest and Twanane in 2016, and then sailed back. And that was amazing, and I suppose a highlight, but also a low light of, the, uh, of that trip was me busting my ankle. Ah. Um, coming back across the channel at night with my leg in a, in a cast on ah, the neck. Good. But, um, yeah, so that was what really got me back into sailing. And yes! Yeah. So currently we're doing about five and a half, six knots. Um, the Angular Hill is awesome. These waves are pretty large. Bloody good, really. Big biceps by the end of this fucker, is it? Here comes the big one, look at that. Yeah, they are yeah, smashing the fuck out of them. What have flown through the scuppers, like, yeah. Oh, I'm having to hold that now. Wow, that is. Look at my helm. I was learning. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. We are fucking going great guns. I'm using my knee and my arm to hold this thing. We are rails in the water and flying, mate. Rails in the water. I've got to get this from up the bow, I reckon. Trying to get up this bell, it's not. Ah! I'm doing the fucking splits, man. Uh, uh, yeah, awesome. I'm like a horror. Look at this. This is awesome. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna get really bad in a minute. Oh, Nick, what's up? This is amazing. That's what we're talking about, boys and girls. Look how he's born, here we come. Ah! Oh, I love it. Look at that. That is what sailing's all about, boys and girls. This is why we love it. Get a cut the rums in ya. Get out, get going. Awesome. Doesn't matter if you've never done it. Just be fucking vigilant. Awesome. This 
fucking awesome everyone. Do you know I wasn't gonna do absolutely anything today. There you go. Mountain the sea, an unexpected sound. Oh there's Chuck. Hello Chuck. Hey? Steven Spielberg, that's it, yeah. He wishes he was like me. I'll tell you. Oh. Right, pirates, it's quarter to eight. And uh, we're in the lock at Eastbourne. Ahoy, Miori, good watch. Good watch. Good watch, Chuck. Good watch, Captain. So it was a bloody good sail here, I tell you. I mean, we were amazing. we were railing the water the whole time, weren't we? Hey? Yeah, the nails, it's great. Yeah, it was really good. I mean, it bloody was fantastic. With it was, you know, water coming up out of the least scuppers all the time. It was lovely. Fantastic. Very, very exciting. Uh, it would have been lovely to see from afar, wouldn't it? Not half. Yeah. So uh, we're going to get in, find out where we are. Uh, going to be berthed for the night, and uh, have something to eat. Got a, an appointment with a delicious blonde, by which I mean a lager. <laughs> Extortionately <laughs> priced. That. Yes, exactly. Brackets. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, unexpected trip for me. I had pr planned to do soddle this weekend. I haven't got much money. My back's uh, in and everything from this job I've been on. Um, and I'm working Monday, so really, but. Could you turn it down? Could could you honestly turn? No, of course not. Do you want to come sailing on an 1896 Colchester Oyster Smack for the weekend? Yeah, 1896, uh, not 1836. Do I? Let see. me think. Yes, of course. Of course I bloody do. Right, pirates. It's early in the morning. We're just getting ready to go down into that lock there. But look. There is weather on the horizon, pirates. All the other boats seem to have their... Uh, Heavy weather gear on. Um, boy, that smells eggy, that engine. Tough, Morning, Nick. How was your sleep? Mm, 7 out of 10. Oh, 7 out of 10. But, uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, it is, definitely. Captain, how was your sleep? I slept very well. Good. Until there was a huge explosion. <laughs> a report. Oh. Was that? I heard one of them earlier, Who actually. Was that? was that me? I did hear... I don't know, was it me? I did hear one of them. Could have been. Honestly, he nearly blew the balls off the blooming toilet block. <laughs> Morning, uh, Skipper. I did, a, I did a little one. <laughs> About five. Morning, Skipper. How oh, was your sleep? Uh, no, not great. No? Not great, no. He's uh, just having a log. I mean, keeping his log. <laughs> Logging off. <laughs> Logging off. Oh, dear. So, uh, Logging out. We uh, we went to a restaurant, had a nice uh, Italian, cheap and cheerful. Yeah, that's all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Cheap as chips. Yeah. Done the job. And now we're going out there. Look at all those clowns, man. I don't know whether to put my dry suit on or not. Why not have it to hand? Well, yeah, I know, but they're a bastard to get on when you're going. Ah. Uh. Right, Pirates, it's Sunday the 26th of August 2018. Board your GNA with me faithful RDs. Check this out. We are downwind, sort of, uh, what do they call it? Broad reach, downwind sort of jobby. Um, we're doing between seven and a half and eight and a half knots. It's bloody wicked, I tell you. It looks like the worst of the weather seems to be held on land at the minute. Um, which is good, because we've just come from that lot. I mean, I slept on deck last night and it was spitting a rain when I woke up this morning. Uh, everyone's got their uh, extreme weather gear on, except for me and Steve, because we're the hardest. Um, uh, but yeah, check her out. We've got the boom so far out, it's ridiculous. If that comes across, that'll take your head clean off. We're doing it. We want to make it back for the 12 o'clock tide. I've got to go to work tomorrow and stuff and uh, what have you, but it's going to piss it down this afternoon, so uh, we're trying to avoid that, aren't we? Yes, indeed. But uh, yeah, what? We're not. Coming up on the Bexhill Riviera. The, back, the what? Just coming up on the Bexhill Riviera. Right, that's down there. And my 
dear old mum lives. Yeah. Hello, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see the sea. Yeah, she lives pretty much on the beach. She's got a flat right overlooking the beach. So we're, we're nowhere near as healed over as we were yesterday. Uh, so it's a little bit more comfortable to sit. But yeah, awesome. We're sailing. <laughs> Can't see any other boats out as of yet, but there was a couple that came out with us, or one that came out with us this morning. Oh, they're some... kind of surprising, aren't they? Yeah, I can see their sails over there. Wicked. So, look at that. Right, Byron, so it's just after 10 now. Um, the sails are away. Fucking hell, that was madness getting them sails away. Yeah, it was almost too exciting, wasn't it? I slid from the stern to the bow on my belly. Slid like a fucking penguin. Yeah, it was bad. I'm not really sure what you call that. I'm classified it here, I don't think. But, uh, there are some big old rollers around, boys and girls. For those who have never been to Riot, it's quite often like this round here. We, we used to like taking the 27s out in these. Playing the old bucking Broncos. Good fun. But we had some real big uh, sets of waves just now and I wanted to get the camera out to film them, but in typical uh, pirate's life fashion, they fucked off. So, uh, Captain, have you had a good time? How's your crew been? Well, yeah. Plank out. He'd be walking it very soon. <laughs> oh, Nick, you can see the smile on his boat race, can't you? He loves it. Yeah, we've had a good time. So you're going to get Nippikin out next time? Uh, well, I, honestly, in this, probably not, no. But, no, not um, in this. But next time we uh, go sailing, if the weather's right, absolutely, if there's enough crew for this as well, sure, yeah. Wicked. It'd be great. I really want to do Isle of Wight next year in a convoy. Yeah, yeah, anchor up at Whitecliff, go and see Jeff and Pat, pay homage. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. The wave seems to be dying down a little bit again now. Mind you, they're not, still not little. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, we was, there was water coming up everywhere sliding around but i'll tell you what we worked well as a team today i think didn't we it was a lot better than yesterday wasn't it well i think we yeah, had more hang of it as well from practicing it last night to you know doing it again today. exactly so yeah. positive positive sign that we're actually getting better so Yeah, brilliant. Scary getting everything in, but totally worth it. Oh yeah, it's a bit scary. All that upwind work we did yesterday. I nearly took my life jacket on at one point. There's not much good if you haven't put it on, is it? Yeah, there's not much good if you fucking trip over the strap.